and welcome to Subsystem. This is where we take just a few minutes and go really in depth about one particular topic. Today we're talking about the brand new iPod Nano. This thing just came out, we got our hands on it. It's an amazing, amazing, extremely tiny 1.5 ounce iPod. To show you how small it is, let's compare it to some of the existing iPods that are already out there. Here is the shuffle right up next to the Nano, and you can see it's even thinner than the already extremely tiny shuffle. And then of course we have Dan's original tank of an iPod. This is like the first one that came out. Uh, much, much smaller than that. But it's so much more than that because it's a replacement for the Mini. The Mini was uh, obviously Apple's kind of middle of the road iPod up until now, but this is much smaller. And it, the first thing you're gonna notice is that it has a color screen. Uh, the screen is a little bit bigger than the size of a postage stamp. And uh, the device actually is a lot closer to an iPod photo than it is to a mini. It has all the functions of a photo. If you go through the, the menu options here, you can see that it has music and uh, obviously can do all of your, your iPods, but it also has photos. So you can transfer all of your existing photo library from your My Documents if you're on Windows uh, right over to the shuffle. Uh, here I have a few different folders. I can go inside one of the folders right here. And you can see the CPU within the Nano is extremely fast. It loads the photos fast. If you select a photo that you want to view full screen, it'll come right up on the display. Um, the only thing it doesn't have that the photo does have is a TV out. So there's no way to hook up right to the Nano and go directly to your TV if you want to do like a, a slideshow in front of your family or something like that. But uh, it makes up in a lot of other ways. Um, not only is it lightweight, but it also has great battery life. It has 14 hours of battery life uh, right on this unit. And it also has um, it comes in two different varieties, a two gigabyte model, which is $199, or a four gigabyte model, which is $249. Don't even bother going after the two gigabyte. You might as well go four gigabyte because extra 50 bucks, extra two gigs. It's just, uh, it's just worth it. Um, also, it's a solid state uh, drive inside here, so it's not using any moving components, so it's not gonna skip on you, which is also nice. Now, as far as what comes in the box, the box itself is uh, extremely small, kind of resembles that of a, a shuffle box and uh, obviously comes with uh, headphones and then little earbud protectors here, uh, a dock adapter for existing docks that are out there so that it'll work with the Nano, and then also a USB 2.0 cable. Doesn't come with a firewire, firewire cable and it also doesn't come with a, a wall adapter, so you can't plug it directly into your, uh, into your wall. You're gonna have to use the USB 2.0 uh, with either your laptop or with the PC. But uh, the main thing we want to do today is crack this thing open. So I actually uh, have a putty knife that I used with the Mini way back when, and we're gonna crack this open and show you all what's inside uh, of the Nano. Let's do it. All right, so I have an extremely thin putty knife here. I'm gonna slide it right in between the metal base and the white section of the Nano, and kind of just slowly pry without damaging the components. So you can see I'm starting to get in there. Just pry that with your fingers the best you can. Around the back side here, you can see it's starting to pop off. There we go. There it comes. Tire case, just like that. There we go. Simple as that. Now you can see we have the little battery right here. And then it's actually screwed down with a little, so we're gonna need a small little Phillips screwdriver to get this completely out of the unit itself. Yeah. All right, so we have the small screwdriver now. We're just peeling back some of this here. I'm gonna go right into these little tiny Phillips. I recommend using something like, uh, you, you can probably use one of the eyeglass Phillips screwdrivers. This one here happens to be a little Craftsman miniature Phillips. There's one screw right there. Careful not to lose that. All right, so now we have all the screws out. Now we have to kind of try and separate the board from the unit itself without flexing it too much because obviously there's a couple little hooks right here. We don't want to, to break the board in any way. Okay, there we go. It's starting to come apart. Just gotta work it nice and slow. There it comes. And here we go. So now it seems like the battery is holding it in. Again, this is our first time trying to get one of these out. So we need a flathead screwdriver, which we have right here. Put 
that in there. Get that battery up. There we go. And there's some tape holding the battery on. So there, now the unit looks like it's being held by two small ribbon cables that we could probably, they're removable, but those are gonna be a pain to get back in. Um, let's see here. We can take this flathead. I don't wanna pry those too hard. It seems like the base will start to come up there. There we go. All right. So that gives you a good look at the board right there. Obviously, this is the four gigabyte chip right there. That's the uh, Samsung memory right there. That's a four gigabyte, like little double-sided solid state memory. Here's the little lithium ion battery. So come, you know, a year, year and a half out when you need to replace it, this is what you're gonna be replacing. And then the circuit board itself is actually quite small. You can see a little bit of a design change in the Nano. This is the uh, where the headphones go into. So now actually you don't plug the headphones into the top. They go right into the base of the unit along with the, uh, the dock adapter right there. So pretty straightforward, connected directly to this color screen. We could pry the color screen out. It looks like you can pull the color screen out, but we're actually gonna continue to use this now. We <laughs> wanna keep it in a working state, so we're not gonna yank that out. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together and hopefully it'll work. So there you have it, an inside look at the iPod Nano. 1.5 ounces, 14 hours of battery life, and an amazing color display. I've only played with it for a couple hours, but I'd buy one, I highly recommend you check it out. That's it for this edition of Subsystem. I'm Kevin Rose, thanks for watching.